Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back once again to Baldur's Gate. With Dudley the Destroyer. Um, for those of you watching on YouTube who aren't sitting about there complaining about my webcam. Yes, I noticed you. Um, welcome. These, 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 these are live stream VODs. They're not proper YouTube videos. I feel it necessary to, to, to clarify this fact. Um... They are streams, first and foremost. I upload them to YouTube as a courtesy for folks who aren't able to make it here on time. So, quit dragging me over the co hot coals, all right? Jesus. I'm a bit cranky today, folks. I haven't had a lot of sleep. Um, load game. I could probably just get away with it and continue, but... Just to be on the safe side. That lot pleases you, Cram. Yes, it does. All right, ooh. Tiled textures there, not so nice. All right, we pretty much completely explored this bit, didn't we? Last time. Where are we this going? No Were we going somewhere? I don't remember. I don't recall. Oh yes, the ancient ruins. That was it. For no reason other than it seems like it might be cool. Also, uh, my game sounds a little bit loud today, and uh, I'd ask the chat if they think it's a little loud as well, but I don't believe a word they say after what happened yesterday. What do you come? Let's leave this place. You literally just woke up. Well, good morning, Deacon. Yes, I am still salty. And with good reason. Please, I beg of you, go no further. Brag is there. Str oh, Brag. Brag. This, that Brag. The Brag from Nashkel. Uh, Brag is there, strewn about with the carnage he has wrought. I've tried to reason with him, but it was as if he is possessed by another soul. It was all I do to flee the swing of his tremendous blade. Please, unless you wish to witness madness and a once good man leave him be and pray the spirit leaves him in good time. Madness? This could be amusing. Let's watch. Let's go watch. Uh... Who is this brag you speak of? Apparently Dudley's forgotten. Before this curse befell him, he was a captain of the guard in Nashkel. I am his cousin, Larissa. For all the bonds of love and blood, blood save him from his present agony, if there be a way to do so. There, don't worry, lady. We'll try and save Brag for you, okay? Please, I'd be most grateful for any help you can give him. I'm going to help him by putting a sword through his chest. I pray you left a trail of crumbs to lead us all back again. The others did not, so they have decided to stay. Shall we try to find the way home together? I pose to you a riddle, the answer to which I once knew but now cannot perceive. Remind me, and we shall re all return to the day. Fail, and stay with me in the dark, forgetting whence we came. It has neither mouth nor teeth, yet it eats its food steadily. It has neither village nor home, neither hands nor feet, yet it wanders everywhere. It has neither country, nor means, nor office, nor pen, yet is ready for fight always. By day and by night, there is no wailing about it. It has no breath yet to all it appears. Uh, I probably should have read that a couple more times before I hit continue. Oh, wait, there we go. Oh, I can just use this. Neither mouth nor teeth eats its food steadily. Neither village nor home. Neither hands nor feet. Yet it wanders everywhere. Uh, it has neither country nor means nor office nor pen. Yet it is ready for fight. Always, by day and by night, there is no wailing about it. It has no breath yet to all it appears. Circus. No. Um. <laughs> Do you know what? Honestly, fuck it. 
we're role playing as Dudley the Destroyer here, not 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 some genius. Uh, the 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 circus. Thine eyes are as blind as mine. If thou art in the darkness with me, then we are the, of the same cloth. I'll not allow not allow another to do as I have. Die, monsters, die. Okay, break. Whatever you say, man. Ow. Ow. There we go. Who who just did that? Who just casted that? Whatever. I didn't give you permission to do that, whoever you were. Oh, Dudley healed himself. That's what he did. Okay. Well, there's Bragg's body. There's his gold. There's his sword. There's his chainmail armor and there's a potion of stone giant strength, which thankfully he did not drink. Um, are we ever in no, we're not over encumbered, amazingly. A two handed sword. Ooh, 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 ooh. Minsk! I've got a new toy for you, as soon as we've identified it, anyway. Uh, I'm gonna give this potion of s giant strength or whatever to. Uh, no, not Vaconia, she can't use it. Um, Minsk, I guess. I mean. Oh, it sets your strength to 20. Okay, no, actually, that's, that's actually fairly useful. That's relatively useful. I thought it just set it to 18, but it doesn't. Um, oh, yeah, we've got, we got some mages' robes we need to identify, as well as this little short sword here. Bragg's body. Huh? Huh? The days like this. Father took me to the forest and we ate wild blueberries more than 20 years That's ago. That's rest. Have you considered putting the part in the part in the T formation? No, I haven't considered it, but. Oh my god! Hello, Tasloy. Oh my god, what are you. 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 What are you doing? Leave the squishies alone! Run away! Run away! No, no, no. Leave the squishies alone. Just, oh my god. Don't you just hate it when the enemy AI, AI is accidentally smart? There we go. Oh well, let's collect all this up, shall we? I didn't mean to take that spear, never mind. Be gone. Oh, thank God. Me one request. Me I have expected two ambushes in a row, though. <laughs> Ugh. And it's getting warm again, isn't it? I, it's, I'm, I am roasting in here right now. I am sweating like a whore in church, as the Americans like to say. What do you want? That's what's important. Oh. 
Yeah, well, you know, Viconia, it's not my fault. Okay, I was born this way. Don't even know what a Tazloy is. We're going to kill them all the same. They really opted for all the sort of more obscure griblies in in this game, didn't they? They didn't they never they didn't go for goblins, did they? In Baldur's Gate, they're all like, nah, fuck goblins. Zvarts, Tazloy, Gibberlings. Kobolds are probably as vanilla as it gets. Alright. Mr. and Mrs. Bear. Wrong place, wrong time, my friends. Oh, Dudley, come on, man. Get it together. Uh, who's got some healing? They are, they were hum humanoid jungle dwellers whose race was thought to be thousands of years old. Tazloy were three feet tall with gold cat-like eyes. Their green skin was thinly covered in coarse black hair. They had a stooped crouching posture and their knuckles dragged on the ground when they walked. I see. Oh look, it's another random signpost in the middle of nowhere. Excavation nearby. You be quiet. Hello. You on Barok's land. Barok says go away. So go. Who is this Barok and what is he going to do about it? Me be Barok. And you make me angry. Attack them. Hello, what do we got? Cobalt Commandos! None of you fuckers better have any poisoned arrows. Up with that shit I will not put. Dudley, stop taking hits. What is it? What is it? What is with you today? That is a lot. Oh, burny, burny flame arrows. Actually, it's not. It's just lots and lots of stacks of burny, burny flame arrows. Have we here? Leave us alone, will you? Nothing for you here. Put your backs to those shovels, men. If she's not out tonight, we'll lose her to the bandito scum. You there, state your business. But don't move from where you stand. I don't want to have to sick the boys on you. Why, 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 why is this, why is this, this is dialogue option number three just inexplicably in a Scottish accent? Relax, we mean no harm to you. Have you had much trouble? I've been possessed by the spirit of Robert the Bruce all of a sudden. Have we? Aye, plenty of it. Nary and Eve goes by without us losing another hand of the night. I swear if we could just get a few moments of uninterrupted digging done. Say, you wouldn't be willing to do a little service for me, would you? You could do a lot worse than working for old Charleston Nib. Hmm. I have no interest in doing you any favours, but if the price were right, I might be persuaded. We have little to offer, but would 50 gold suffice? 
It's all we can give. What with having to restock our camp thrice over. Damnable saboteurs. Your mere presence may be enough to discourage our discourage our mystery assailants. Are you up for it? It would be only be for a short while. Um An acceptable wage for potentially doing nothing. Continue your work, and I shall keep watch. Gracious we are. Now, st we st now we stand a chance of completing the most exciting day of our dig. We've got to try for an entire new room today, possibly with a shaman or chieftain quarters. We could find any number of relics within. Move amongst the men as you will, as your presence will no doubt reassure them. Why, hello there. Could we just step aside a moment and have a little chat away from prying ears? First, my name is Galor. Second, we never had this conversation. I'm the partner of that old Mr. Charleston you met. Except I'm none too thrilled about the non-profit aspects of the whole thing. The old man seems to think we should donate all our findings to some museum, whereas I'm ever so much more practical. I should think certain people who would pay dearly for the magical treasure we're about to unearth, and if they would be so eager, who are we to stand in their way? I would like you to steal the item and remove Mr. Nib from my little equation. You have the task? Thou only mentioned the theft in thy dishonest task, but in truth thou would make us murderers of Charleston and his men. Dudley surely would disagree to committing such atrocity. Magical treasure? I was under the impression that no one knows what is to be found here. Why are you so sure of its value? Old Mr. Nib would never admit it, but that is mainly because he doesn't wish to jinx the dig. From what I could decipher in the ancient writings, the final room contains the plate that provides bounty, leading food unto gold. Or unto God, rather. Doesn't take a genius to figure out what that means. Obviously, the item under all that dirt and rubble is enchanted such that it provides bounty. Whether it's through increased crops or good hunting, I care not. Regardless, an object of that age and enchantment should command a hefty price, and I intend to see that it does. You can be part of it if you wish. Surely it would not be too much work for us to dispose of the old fool, and if the price is right... Hmm... I would have to kill many of the working men if I attacked Charleston. It would be a veritable slaughter, and I want no part of it. Blast you! You're just playing you're playing just to save the old man. So be it. I'll find other means to acquire a fair measure of profit from this fiasco. Best you continue on whatever errand you be on. Huh. This man gave me the creeps. I mean, picking a pocket is one thing, but killing a dozen workers to steal some stupid artifact is horrible. Ah, get lost. You cannot save it this time. You cannot save it this time. You cannot save it this time. Okay, what happened there? He just disappeared. Alright, <laughs> fine. Psst. Yeah, there. I will be leaving as soon as you can, mate. Boss man here there is nice and all, but he has has no real idea what we going on. I tell you there's some bad magic in the air. What have the others got to say? Oh, just the same thing. You know, any of you got any different names? No. Yes. Success! Uh sorry. <clears throat> Success! We're about to enter the last remaining room. It's sure to be the shaman's abode. I didn't consciously make this decision, but I realise he does now sound like the guy from Time Team. Yes. Now we'll get some real information about that, what these peoples were truly like. Hey boss man, I don't feel so good. How old is the air in this place? Good question, young man. I would guess that we're the first people to walk in this room in nearly 5,000 years. The very gods of Netheril would have been young at that time. It's so... It's so cold in here. I feel strange. I hear... I hear a voice in my head. I hear the hollow voice, but it is a mumble. Speak up! Speak up and guide mine hands! Ah! 
You, I see what you are. There is power to be had from your death. Your blood will quiet the voice. Blood will quiet. Koza replet dar kas togla koza for target. All right, very good. Ooh. I guess we're just gonna slaughter them all. Not much thought required here. Let's waste no time. Oi. I think I can explain the madness that overcame my men. They seem to scream in some ancient tongues, but I recognize the word Kozar. It's the name of an ancient power, the name of the god of Pandemonium. The tribe that lived here must have worshipped Kozar and the destruction he, he brought. The artifact that lies within this stone sarcophagus must be what has caused all this bloodshed. Surely that artifact is cursed beyond belief. Please make sure it's within the proper its proper place and we will seal the entrance. It's best that it never sees the light of day. Ugh, my head hurts just trying to make sense of what you're saying about this, Kozar. But, um, I guess he was some evil god and this place has something to do with him. Like a temple, right? Yes, basically, you're right. What of it? So those workers we just killed attacked us because of him or something or other, right? Well, then how come none of us were affected, huh? I am unable to answer your question. We we know little of this culture and that is why I was doing research. I, I doubt I would ever have an answer for you, Emwyn. It's sad, really. I had sought to bring a little life back to a long extinct people, and look what I wrought. Certainly some things are better off remaining dead. Here is your pay for the time you've spent there. Uh, your services are no longer required. Everyone pack up. We're leaving this accursed place. Uh, yes, we should leave. You should watch out for your partner, Galor. He wanted me to kill you so he could profit from your find. Tread carefully. It is, and it always will be. Let's see. Uh, we, uh, uh, interesting, though. We can actually open this. The idol. This idol depicts Kozar the Stormstar, a long-extinct god who was venerated and feared among the less powerful strata of ancient Netherese society. Worship of this god of storms, earthquakes, strife, and rebellion was outlawed by many of the civilization's powerful archwizards. Many Kozaean shrines and temples were therefore built in secretive underground locations where the devout were better able to escape detection. I think we'll leave it alone. I think that would be smart. It's the, usually the part where Django chimes in in the chat and says, actually, no, you should take it because this, this, and this. And I'm like, no, I'm not taking it because it's a cursed idol. And this is an RPG. Watched enough Indiana Jones to know how this ends. Also, lol, apparently we forgot this guy. Feed in the morning, it will be better. Missing out on that 0 0.0002 2 DPS. <laughs> you. you never did this quest, so you're fine. I see. Clearing. Looks like the answer is a resounding no. Oh, Baldur's Gate 1, Fog of War map clearing. Don't you just love it? I cannot wait till we get to Siege of Dragonspear. <laughs> Give me some dungeons for Christ's sake. Hello, what do we got here? Dread Wolves. No, leave the squishies alone.
Anything up here? This is just a sort of pointless little promontory. It is indeed a pointless little promontory. I like that word, promontory. Hello. Faking the idol results in Dwarf Fortress style fun. When does the circus arrive? Oh, hello. It's a singular Knoll Slasher and a Flind. And Dudley just took another hit like an absolute champion. Brown would just take a hit. How about you use uh, some spiritual hammer, Brownwin? There you go. Oh, there's more. Speaking of the lamentation of women, run away! Leave the poor squishy diner here alone! God, we leveled up. Dudley has actually leveled up, ladies and gentlemen. He is now level five. Let's see. Death saving throw reduced by two. One saving throw reduced by two. Polymorph saving throw reduced by two. Breath weapon saving throw reduced by three. Spell saving throw reduced by two. Thacker reduced by one. Additional hit points gained 16. Nice. No more proficiency slots, though. Oh, oh. That was 80 hit points. It's also popular. Not yet, we shall see. Destiny or not. Why is that? This mostly expire, and there's still more. There's more. Can't imagine there's much of real interest. We haven't break, and we have this little excavation dig site place. I'm surprised if there's anything else, much of note lurking down here in the fog, but we'll find out anyway. And our reputation if he gets above 17 Vicky leaves yeah I think she does where I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best to occasionally be a scumbag we might just have to kill a flaming fist guy the next time he pisses us off <laughs> just to keep our rep in check It'd be nice if there was an option, uh, Pete, like in Age of Empires, where you can have the entire map explored. You just start with it all in greyed out, but visible fog of war. Save you a lot of faffing about. Hmm. 
seems to be a little stream down here with a ford going across it. That's about all there is. So, unless we feel like going to down to the Zvart village again, I suggest we get the heck out of here and back to Nashville. We're laid by a polar bear. A very, very lost polar bear. That'd be a very dead lost polar bear. There we go. 900 experience. Not bad. Come, let's leave this place. Uh, let's just go this way. Ooh, I'm tired. <sighs> Who's that over there? Just a random commoner. Right, I have a dead guard captain to hand over. I don't know who to hand it over to, but uh, I'll try the temple. I mean, the guy hasn't been dead that long. Theoretically, I ought to be able to resurrect the bugger. I mean, if, if one of my guys had died in that fight, I'd be able to resurrect him. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Lead in the morning. It will be better. Maybe he got chunked, right? So you mean the uh, the body I'm carrying around in my inventory is actually a sack full of bits? Watch over thee upon thy quest. Poor Brig, it is a pity he could not have been recovered alive. He might yet have come to terms with his actions and repaid the debt he incurred. Now all we can do is say the proper prayers and make sure the way to the next world is well guided. May Helm have pity on his tortured soul. Thank you for bringing his body here. No doubt Ublek would have made so much of his death and further despoiled his name. I shall match the bounty you would have received so that you have not risked so much for nothing. The temple is in your debt. 250 gold. Very nice. Doesn't seem like that much, but hey, whatever. Now then, Mr. Priesty Man. Identify my stuff. It's a per cursed sword. Well, I am glad we got, we got it identified. She performs perfectly under every test, save the heat of battle. Upon entering combat, the wielder will immediately go berserk, killing everything within reach until either calming down or falling unconscious. A very powerful sword, but one must decide whether or not it is worth the risk. Even once the battle fury has ended, this sword can only be removed via an exorcism using a removed curse spell. Equipped abilities cause the wielder to go berserk. May only be removed with a removed curse spell. Thaco plus three. Damage 1d10 plus 3. Yeah, I, I think we can live without it, personally. Right, anyone else got something? Ah, these robes. Due to the extremely volatile nature of most magics, mage robes of fire resistance are not uncommon among young acolytes and their wizardly tutors. As with other such robes, they cannot be worn except by wizards. Rubbish ability, honestly. Fire resistance plus 20%, I feel, personally. Um, but we'll keep we'll we'll let Dino wear them anyway, just because they look kind of cool, I guess, on the sprite. <laughs> so, and we have a short sword plus two. Although, I don't know. This one's got like a this one's got a unique little description. Amidst the plains of the Eastern Shah, there lived a small human blacksmith who nearly whose nearly dwarven height did not do his soul justice. Though a skilled weaponsmith, his true gift was his ability to whistle a heartfelt song that could cause a grown man to cry like a newborn. Only a reclusive maid shared and enjoyed time with the diminutive man, however, as others could only see his small size as a source of amusement. Um, deaf uh, to the smith's song because of their own prejudices, the ridicule slowly grew into cruel torment, which eventually persuaded the lighthearted man to leave his home forever. Before he left, he forged this weapon as a gift for his one friend, who also enchanted it during the making. Thus, the blade sweetly whistles to its wielder when unsheathed. It was not long after that that the mage also deserted the small town in disgust, taking the sword with him on his journeys. Cool. It is. Grant me one request. Grant me revenge.
Is it worth giving that to everyone instead of Barscona? Probably not. So I guess we'll probably just sell it. What is the riddle of steel? If I don't know it, it will cast me out of Valhalla and laugh at me. That's crumb. That's what's important. All right. Uh, I have a short trinkets and thingies and what's it for you, sir? Enjoy. As does Viconia. She's practically drowning in jewelry. I'm getting I'm I'm getting rid of that. I don't want it in my inventory anymore. I'm never gonna find the person for the quest. Uh, what else? Glander's gloves of misplacement. Those are cursed as well, right? Yeah, they're worth feck all, interestingly. Unlike some of the other cursed items. Whistling Sword. Yeah, let's get rid of that. All right. Uh, all that matters is the two steps. How much, see. How much gold do we have now? Out. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Let's waste no time. Never had. What can you give me today? Let's rent a room and skedaddle. Come. Let's leave this place. Right, uh, diner here. Have some fancy robes. Emma Wynn, let's top up your arrows there. And I guess we could go up the road to Barragost and hand over those scalps. Then make our way up towards the Tazok land. Do the next bit of the main quest. Grant me one request. Grant me revenge. Right, we need to go in here, don't we? Where is she? That's what's important. Where is Officer What's face? There she is. Can I assist you? You've been busy, I see. Well, keep at it. The more bandit scalps I have, the richer you'll be. I'll take all the bandit scalps you have. There you go. Enjoy. All that matters is that two stood against many. You know what? Just, just, just go to the edge of the map. There, it's fine. Right. Right then. We could go back to Lower Chiontha. Let's try that. Then go, go east from there. What is the riddle of steel? Back in Ankeg territory. There's another side That's quest wrong. we can do around here somewhere. As well. Hello, Tom. How you doing? Sorry, I'm anxiously glancing at my watch because we have to stop before seven o'clock today. We have a hard limit on the end of the stream for once. Should someone be wearing that robe? What robe? The one I just made. Dining here, where? What do we shall see? Destiny or not? This game needs a remake. Does it though? You just noticed the title. <laughs> yes. If you know, you know. Whoa! Hello. Old friends we meet once more. Ooh, God. Taking some hits there, boys and girls. Do you know, I, 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 from this time, I, I cannot actually be bothered to take their plates back to the smithy. I'll take a plate 
so as not to over encumber ourselves very much. And uh, I think now we'll rest, actually. Yeah, no, I agree with you, Spot. Um, I, I, frankly, I, I do find the uh, no time. the higher resolution of the enhanced edition worth the price of admission, frankly, because oh my god, I'm trying to make the old games run in high resolution was a ball ache back in the day. Because technically, you could mod the game to run in 1080p, but everything would be shrunk down and tiny like this all the time. All the menu elements would be shrunken and tiny, and you would be stuck zoomed out all the way like this all the time you couldn't zoom in and out in the original Baldur's gate like this it was it was the worst you I mean, you, pre you were pretty much just forced to play the game in a lower resolution than your na native monitor re resolution just to be able to actually see what the heck you were doing and of course that always just messed up on my computer because of my multi-monitor setup it would just sort of cause one of my monitors to just go all funky and broken if you play a game in le lower than 1080p um yeah pain pain in the backside bandit camp everybody get a little cinematic here Let's leave this place. Sounds like a nightmare. It kind of was. Uh, I had a really, really tough time. You remember, I don't know, those of you who are very, very old followers of the channel may remember the uh, Baldur's Gate 1 Let's Play I did a long, 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 long time ago with Marcus the Blade. And uh, that was an absolute pain in the dick to record because I had to run it in that lower resolution. I've never bothered sneaking around the back of the bandit camp like this before, you know. <laughs> okay, let's try it this way. Never done this before. Surprise! We came round the back door. And we're now all getting multiple arrows in the face. Especially Branwen, apparently. Branwen! What have we got here? Holy power, chaos of... What's holy power do? Oh! That's quite good. Use that. Use your fancy hammer as well. Or, or, or don't. Just, you know, die. See if it makes a difference to me. She's fighting the boss man, isn't she, right now? I wonder if she's having a rough time. Oh, Branwen, please do not die. Oh, Branwen, why? Well, we chunked that guy. Ah, forget this. Let's load it up again. Let's try that again. Let's waste no time. Let's be cheeky and uh, kite them a bit. Or is he just going to stand there and not move? Oh no, no, he is on his way over here. Lovely, lovely. Right, back, everybody, back. Run, run, skedaddle, skedoodle. Where'd he go? There they are. 
Run this way. Run. Keep, yeah, keep shooting at Viconia. She has an armor class of minus 50 billion. Um, so please, no, don't shoot Dinah here. I said Viconia, you idiots. You're deaf as well as stupid. Place. Right, we managed to drag them over here a bit at all. No, not really. Then the hell with you. Yeah, indeed, to hell with them then. then the hell with you. Where's boss man? There he is. Alright, let's quickly kill this archer. And now we can all focus on him. Minsk. What are you doing? Fucking Minsk. Why you do this? Why you do this? Why you make me reload the game? Let's waste no time. Okay, who, who's, who's, who is shooting? Fucking, oh my god, stop it. What do you want? Come, let's leave this place. Oh, I need to deal with this guy now, though. Dudley. No, don't rage. We'll save that for later. Please stop shooting Dinah here. Run away, Dinah here, please. Yeah, shoot, shoot him instead for a bit. All right, be careful what you wish for. This is not going well. What do you want? There we go. There's a nice crit. Mansk. Mansk. Can somebody please kill this guy, for fuck's sake? Oh my god. It's embarrassing, people. Man, stop dying. Oh, there's just more and more of them. Run away! Oh, Bremen leveled up. Sweet. I'll deal with that in a minute. Okay. Everybody meet up over here. Alright, at this point, I feel like we ought to just rest. Everybody is so heavily injured. What do you want? All that matters is two students. We flee into the forest and we shall attack them again after nightfall. Please don't die in a here. <laughs> Hello, Obergover. All right. Just when they think they're safe, we shall attack them again. Right after I level you up. Additional spells and hit points for Brenwyn. Very good. Uh, speaking of spells, probably should have done this before we rested, but hey, never mind. Uh... Probably definitely should do because we've unlocked level three spells now. Oh, what do we want? That's a nice one. Early smite. Miscast magic animate dead cure medium wounds um thinking of going cure medium wounds at least one round of it i forget what uh vigonia's got them in there she's got a rigid thinking so 
I'm going to go strength one for you. And your extra level two spell can be... Um, slow poison? Yeah. Don't know why I'm clicking on the non-magic people. Tell me what we shall see. I mean, dead and good. I mean, it gives you like a couple of skeletons that follow you around. I guess it's it's not not super great, really. In my experience, anyway, I, I prefer the other stuff available. Ooh, another fancy hammer. A fancy suit of armor to boot. What is that? Full plate mail. Would this benefit anybody? I don't think it would. Uh, it's actually a little better than an Ancake plate. Although she can't wear it. She's not strong enough. In fact, pretty much nobody here is. Alright, we'll get rid of it then. I mean, oh, oh no, no, it's probably worth a fair chunk of money in it. Dundas, can you carry it without being over encumbered? You can. You absolute champion. What else have we got? Potion of Fortitude. Who's got pretty low constitution? Who's squishy? I think Viconia is pretty squishy. Yes, constitution eight. Guess what, Vicky? You can have this Potion of Fortitude. I have a feeling you may need it. How much is this? Potion of Fire Breath. Whoa. Okay. That's pretty funky. That is pretty funky. Damn. Um, Minsk, would you like to breathe? This seems very irresponsible, giving Minsk the ability to breathe fire, but uh, I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, I don't know if we're going to give this... Shield two. Um, I'd, I'd rather identify it first, just in case it's cursed. It probably isn't, but you know. Same with that hammer, really. Not yet. Let's waste no time. Let's go and continue mopping up everybody outside here. Then we'll head into the big tent and have a big fight. Which I'm going to hopefully try and buff just to a comical degree again for that, like we did with uh, Basilus. Hopefully we'll have similar results. Dudley, stop taking hits, you maroon. Hello, Hobgobos. Archer scumbag, get over here and be... Bring your pretty face to my bastard swords. Is there more? Yes, there's more. Who's this guy? Ardenor Crush. Oi! No hitting Vicky, it's not allowed. Smidge of healing. What the heck just happened? Did we suddenly become daytime? I think it did, yes. Um, you want 
try that again. No, oh, there we go. All right, there should be some knolls in this cave, if I recall. Yeah, exactly right. Second sense. Big fight happen. Do all of the buffs. You come to mock Garclex. Garclex has clan been in cave long enough. Let us out now or die. Let out the filthy knolls to let them do evil. Boo's blood boils at the thought. Minsk smells righteous butt kicking coming, uh, and uh, many other foul smells too. Uh, yes, Boo, it was very stupid of the bandits to lock the whole clan of Gnarls in such a small cave for so long. Uh, sorry, you ugly Gnoll, but you won't be getting out today. Then you won't get out either. Oh, did, did Dudley just rage? He just did, didn't he? Oh, you stupid bastard. You were supposed to save that for the big fight, you moron. I really should get rid of his script. So now you're just going to keep getting whacked because you've lowered your AC, you, you, you galoot. Rest again before going into the big tent for immersion reasons. I'm spaffing a load of healing spells on Dudley. Yeah, but turning off AI completely is a bit overkill, spot because then I'll just have, you know. I'll, I'll kill an enemy and then all my guys will just stand there like lemons until I tell them to attack another enemy. Particularly my archers in the back. It's not really ideal. What I need to do is go here, 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 and make you standard attack. There we go. Should have done that hours ago. Anything in this barrel? Nope. <laughs> okay. Into the big tent decorated with skeletons. With fleshy bits still on them by the looks of things. Uh, we may want to buff before we go in there. That's the thing. Um, some of these buffs are a little time sensitive, if I recall. Uh, strength. Brown one. Cool. Um, you just do drop on Holly Might. Right, you do that. And that. I punch. Whatever they need. Anything else? Not yet. Oh, potions. Uh, we'll drink these when we actually get in the tent, I think. It is, and it always will be. All that matters is that two stood against many. Hello. I don't care you are. No one's went to Tadlock's tent under penalty of death. Then come at me, for I have no intention of turning back. You're dead, little worms. All right. Huh? Uh, Oil of speed. Also. Potion of fortitude. Talk more fight. Potion of fire breath. On that guy. By you just attack. Wish my ear. Uh, awfully tempted by the idea of a fireball right now. In fact, let's just do it just for giggles. What you want? And you magic missile him before he tries to cast anything. <laughs> it's 
Not over yet. Oh dear. Did 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 Minsk just fire breath someone? What are you doing, Minsk? I think he just fire breathed all over uh, all over Branwen, which is pretty damn funny to be honest. Everybody's lost their minds. Very good, but we've won. Is the main thing. <laughs> Now we're just going to wait for everybody to come to their senses. And we'll bring a pack of cards. I painted some more miniatures. I painted, uh, painted some new space marines. You can't see it very well because the camera's blurry as heck, but I painted a little... Uh, Blood Angel's apothecary guy there. He's got a chainsaw and a big, big sippy cup. I, I did a captain who's also got a big sippy cup as well. <laughs> we done now? We're done now. Right. Whoa. That's some loot, isn't it? We're watching. Ooh, fancy bow as well. Not that any of us can really use it. I suppose mint's cool. Time here, you can have that and these and all of those. But not that one, apparently. Friends. Can't have friends because you're an invoker. <laughs> Invokers aren't allowed friends. Even space marines remember to hydrate. Mm hmm. Astra Race, thank you very much for 28 months of subage. Welcome back. Been a long while since you've been able to watch on Twitch. Well, it's good to see you here anyway. Tell me what I must do. Let's waste no time. <laughs> Brian is just nearly dead. Like, what happened there? I th I'm pretty sure Minsk just decided to breathe fire all over her, which is... I told you it was a bad idea giving him the ability to do that. I watch over this group as a nanny, the child. <laughs> Why, why are you saying that for, Dinah here? What did I do wrong? <sighs> I, what's the problem? Also, Not yet. get a load of the Dudley on the Oil of Speed. Wee! <laughs> oil of Speed. Also, this is trapped. Everyone? Hey, Where are you? Do your thing. What do we got? Money? Gloves? Some scrolls for Dinah here. And some useless pieces of paper. Faconia can read those. Dudley was elected to lead, not to read, after all. Tazak, I've noticed your shipments of iron have slowed of late. It's imperative that we should receive another ton of ore, step up your raids, and get a shipment to our base in Cloakwood within the next week. We need to stockpile as much ore as possible before our ultimatum is given. Also, Saravark wants to know what has happened with the band of mercenaries. Have they been killed? You had better ensure they have been, as Saravak will not take kindly to any other news. Davion. Alright, uh, let's copy that. And where's the, what's the other one? Tazak, I hope that everything moves along smoothly. I've written to you to give you instructions for our, from our superiors. I've been told that a small band of mercenaries might cause the Iron Throne some trouble in the future. You are to ensure that they don't live to upset our operations, obtain the service of the assassin, nimble, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Dinah here. We're going to write magic all of these. Enjoy. And we really do need to get you a scroll case one of these days. Get rid of these. And, uh... You can have those as well. I mean, just, just hold on to I guess. We'll sell them. Mullahan. Oh. and Tezak have proven to be nothing more than puppets. The true master of this unfolding mystery continues to elude you. One thing is certain. Someone has taken a very personal interest in seeking your death. Though why, you are not sure. Your search for answers continues, and the foreboding Cloakwood Forest is your next target. 
Alright, quite good, ladies and gentlemen. It is, and it always will be. Uh, yeah, it is and will always, always will be one of my least favorite bits of the game. <laughs> in the morning, it will be better. But maybe it's not so bad as I remember. Maybe. Just maybe. What have we got here? Post of magic blocking. Look at him zip around, I love it. Some of these, some of these user interface sound effects also appear in Fallout One and Two, and I got such a little, little, little injection of nostalgia just there from opening those containers. Grant me one request. Grant me Weird how a little hands. tiny noise like that can do that, but hey. Right, I think we're just we're just gonna freaking rest because, damn, we're nearly dead. No one, not even you will remember if you were good man or bad. All that matters is that six stood against many. Oh, for goodness sake. Minsk! Could you just try not taking hits for a while? What are these guys armed with? What makes them so damn special? They're just short bows. They're making a mockery of my armor class, though. Also, our boys leveled up. Alright. Uh, some saving throw improvements. Thacker reduced. Additional hit points gained. All right. That's what's important. You started a new run thanks to this series and accidentally cheesed Cloakwood by making a cavalier. Turns out they're immune to poison. Why? Not why did you pick cavalier, but why are cavaliers immune to poison? That's bonkers. They just are in 2D. 2, 2E. Sorry. Yeah, okay, fine, I guess. Hand wave. <laughs> they just are. Oh, there are skeletons. Can you believe that? immune the same way dwarves can't be mages. Well, at least dwarves are... The, the, the dwarf mage thing is like a racial thing. Why is it a particular class, like, biologically immune to poison? That doesn't make an awful lot of sense. You've been sitting there like Mithridates of Pontus, just friggin' injecting yourself with small amounts of poison your entire life so as to slowly become immune to it. Like, what's the deal there? else here is there still I feel it necessary to check just in case we miss something cool Found a brown one companion in 
Battles get too much. That's nice store, but I won't be using it. As I've, as I've said with this playthrough, if, I, if I'm going to complete the game, I want to do it with the van vanilla selection of uh, of party members. I don't want to use any mods, and I don't want to use any enhanced edition extra NPCs. Can you believe that? Are you murdering the friendly bears? Because experience! That's why. You can pretend we're harvesting their pelts if it makes you feel better. I know, I, I get that they're friendly and it's kind of mean, but, you know, they do give you extra experience and it would not be an unusual thing uh, in this kind of setting to just, if you find some bears and you're able to kill them, just kill the fuckers. They give so little XP though. Yeah, yeah but it adds up. It all adds up, doesn't it? I don't know why we suddenly have access to spider wood all the way over there, by the way. That's suddenly unlocked. I don't know why. Um, let's go to the friendly armin. All that matters is that two stood against many. After a certain point, I probably will stop bothering to kill the bears because it'll just, it really will be just pointless at that point. But I don't know, it's just quite satisfying to click on things and watch them die in this game. What can I say? I was going to make a comment then, and I realised it would be a big story spoiler, so I won't do it. <laughs> These right people's picnic baskets after a while, <laughs> otherwise. <laughs> We had the same thought regarding that spoiler, yeah. V probably dreams about this game when he sleeps. I don't know. I don't think V's quite that boring, actually. I, I don't. I, I don't think you give him enough credit. Probably does occasionally, but. Django definitely dreams about this game when he sleeps. On the other hand. Sometimes he also dreams of Thief. Uh, right, it's Elminster again. Well, hello, young one. I trust that thou art well. I've heard many things about thee in the past few ten days, and I am most impressed. Ah. <sighs> Are you following me, old man? Only through tales and stories, I assure thee. Now, thou art the subject around many tables lately, and uh, I am quite sure that the majority of rumours are more or less true. Much as, as I would have thought done or something, I, the narrator just kind of screwed up the lines there. Um, though the methods may have differed, no doubt the clues on earth so far have pointed thee in the same direction I would have concluded as well. Thou dost possess a gifted nature, and I am sure that thou wilt make good use of it. Even if I was playing a lawful stupid paladin at this point, I'd be getting pretty tired of Elminster's bullshit, I gotta say. Um, 
I am determined in my course and do not need your assistance. Get out of my way. Fear not, I was not presuming to tell thee where to go, for thou art more than capable. I will leave thee to thy travels. Luck be with thee, for thou have made some vengeful enemies, some that thou have yet to meet, and some as close as thine own heart. Yes, sod off. Uh, sorry for another app. I just want to say I'm really enjoying this LP. Being re re really enjoyable, and although I expect you'll stop before finishing it, I do hope you at least get to see the Dragon Spear. Hope, I hope I do too. I um, I know my attention span is akin to that of a goldfish, but um, it would be nice to get to see the Dragon Spear because I have I'm kind of looking forward to it. Um, it's it's one of those weird games where people describe why they don't like it, and I I listen to those reasons and I think to myself, this is actually only making me like the sound of it more. No, not less. So, <laughs> like Django, Django constantly talks about how it, it's extremely similar to Icewind Dale, and I'm just sitting here like, but I love Icewind Dale. This sounds great. So, um, I'd like to give it a try. See what all the fuss is about. I also, I've kind of decided I don't want to play Baldur's Gate three until I've beaten the original saga. So, I got that as a motivational thing going too, I suppose. Don't threaten me with a good time. Well, precisely. Uh, right, anyway. We have stuff for you to identify. It's a shield plus two by the looks of things. With a with an armor class of plus... I'm, I'm going to give this to Viconia and make her armor class even more ridiculous. I should probably give it to Brownwood, but I'm... I'm mm. <laughs> we'll see. Uh... Longbow of Marksmanship, the dead shot, driven by years of rivalry, the Dukes of Spandelion and Delthundel decided to organize a private contest that would proclaim the better archer between them. Both boasted the power of their magical bows, but that wasn't enough for Edward Dest, Duke of Spandelion. He uh, arranged for the theft of his opponent's bow, and on the day of the contest, he couldn't help gloat in his advantage. The Duke of Delthundel, uh, known only as Raymond, demanded a demonstration of Edwald's skill on a scarecrow that he'd placed. Edwald Dest drew his longbow and released the arrow with determination, not stopping to think how uncannily the target resembled himself. The missile split the large voodoo doll's head in twain, and at that moment, Edwald's head did much the same. Thacko plus three. Damage plus two. That's a pretty good darn good longbow. about this hammer it is looks like a, just a, a hammer plus one or something I got a mage robe due to the extremely volatile nature of most magics mage robes are f another robe fire resistance huh all right I think this would be a downgrade, wouldn't it? If we were to equip this hammer. Yep. Alright, Vicky can't actually use that shield, which makes me immensely sad, but the good news is Branwen can use it, which brings her AC down to minus three. She does still have a small shield, plus one at least. Um. <laughs> yeah, she's got her AC of minus five still. Minsk with his, with his peasant AC of zero. You can't use this, can you, Edmund? Oh, tragic. All right, Minsky Poo. Uh, I'm going to give you that. I'm going to give you 80 arrows as well. And you can use that longbow as your backup weapon if you ever need to for some reason. If we need to do a bit of kiting, we can switch you to longbow mode. I bet his stack is pretty good with it too. Yeah, 13. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty good. What do you want? Let's waste no time. Come, let's leave this place.
seeing 2e negative armor classes always takes you back to when you were a child and you didn't understand anything about it. Eat in the morning. It will be better. It's, it's, it's Thaco and negative armor class is one of them. It's a very memed thing about second edition D&D. And on the face of it, yes, it is very unintuitive sounding, but I think once you really actually learn how it works, it doesn't make any less sense than the way it currently does. You know, really, it's just, it's just, you're just flipping the numbers around, right? You're just doing minuses instead of pluses. Doing a, doing a minus to the hit roll rather than a plus to the target you need to roll. Effectively, in essence, it's the same thing, just, you know, written out a different way, I guess. It's a massive improvement to one. I don't even, I don't know really anything about the first edition of Dungeons and Dragons, other than I know, I think it was adapted from a game called Chainmail. Which I think was a historical system. That's that's uh, that's not really my forte. Really early, early, early stuff like that. Uh, a buddy, a buddy of mine, he he's he's an encyclopedia for all that really old school tabletop stuff. Like uh, I, I I we we I went to Nottingham recently to Warhammer World with him, and he took me through the uh, the exhibit hall. And he chewed my ear off at some length um, in the really early history section of Games Workshop, telling me about like Ral Partha and and all this early stuff like Laserbird and whatnot. I was just like, "Wow, this is really interesting." I'd never really heard it probably before. He could probably tell you shitloads about old school D and D. Anyway, uh, yeah, I've got shit to give you, Bentley. Why do we have a random longsword? I don't know. I'll sell it. Probably get rid of that Warhammer plus one, I, I suppose. No real reason to keep it. I mean, because your your current our current weapon is better, and it's not going to break. So goodbye. Right, which of these are we not going to use? Probably not going to use that. Or that, realistically. Color spray is kind of fun, I'll keep that. Um, horror is kind of fun too. Blindness in a pinch is useful as well, so we'll get rid of those. Ah, oh, we forgot to identify those gauntlets. Uno momento. Oh! Grant me revenge. Dudley, I desire a moment with you, if you um, please. Um, yes, Brenlin. Tell me, have you ever felt doubts about your calling in life? Not as a regular occurrence, surely. It would be foolish of me to ask of such of you, who obviously have been blessed with great inborn confidence as befits a warrior. But I speak of a of small, very brief pinpricks of uncertainty that come and go as a snowflake in the warm sun's rays. Uh... Let's see. There's a few options here. Uh, no, I'm just. I need it. One moment, folks. God damn it! You never. I never have a tissue when I need one. Oh, it's because it fell out of my pocket. Damn it! Ah. Apologies, everybody. I'm a bit sniffly today. I actually had a little bit of a cough earlier. I don't really know where that came from, but I had a really bad tickly cough this morning, and I, I thought I was going to be stuck with it all day. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. I still feel a bit sinusy, I have to admit. Where were we? Um, no, my chosen course has been steadfast. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I think just sometimes, yes. It relieves me somewhat to hear it from your lips. I confess I am not without my own pins, as I find my heart is strong but unyielding. I do not re regret my choice, but oft when I look into the face of a dying foe, or tend to repair the repair of my weapons and armor, I feel as if all it all seems somehow without point or purpose. 
I have wondered now and again if such was normal or merely a lack, a lack of faith, a mark of shame that I could cut from my bleeding heart lest it disease me. This seems the more on-brand answer for our um, for our Robert E. Howard-inspired character. <laughs> it's a disease, all right. These shards of doubt are small, but they eat away at you like slivers of glass, smooth and sharp and impossible to pry out. They kill in the end. If there is to be hope for either of us, we must separate the wheat from the chaff within ourselves and purify our hearts and minds. In truth, I fear this much. Together we shall tend to each other's wounds and remove the bloody shards before time cuts us short. Tempest willing, we may both live to see each other pure and whole as we were when newborn babes. Not yet. Interesting That's choice of important. verbiage there, Branwen. You must gather your <laughs> Imagine Dudley Sprite going wiggle, wiggle, wiggle across the room. All that matters is that two stood against many. Alan, can I get these gauntlets identified, please? What is the riddle of steel? If I don't know it, it will cast me out of Valhalla and laugh at me. That's from. There they are. Gauntlets of weapon expertise. Legacy of the Masters. Highly sought after among novice warriors, these items were once the property of the royal family of Threskel. Um, imparting. A portion of the prince's legendary skill. These gauntlets grant the bearer mastery over all forms of weapons. The majority of their many previous owners seem to have come to bloody ends, though. The gloves grant the ability of experience, but not the wisdom. Equipped abilities, Thacko plus one, damage plus two. Well. Who are we giving these to? Um, yeah, yeah, yep, yep. <laughs> I mean, the guy gets two attacks per round because he's got the extra weapon. It makes the most sense to give it to him. It is, and we shall see. Destiny or not, let's waste no time. I think we should rest at the inn before we head to Cloakwood. Guys, stop dilly dallying. Let's leave this place. Oh, damn it. Misclick. You must have stuck your party from the stairs before venturing forth. Mm. Alright, let us skedaddle. in the morning. It will be better. Dudley is a man of few words, and most of them are quite violent, but that doesn't mean he doesn't know how to speak goodly if he wants to, I suppose. I'm reminded of that clip of Werner Herzog explaining how he does understand French, but refuses to speak it. JFC Fuller, thank you very much for the prime sub. Welcome, man. Glegwood! Ah, uh, we've arrived, ladies and gentlemen. Grant me one request. Grant me revenge. Revenge upon the developer who designed this area. Now, the place is littered with traps. And I'm kind of hoping Immerwon will spot them. We, you know, you know, we really haven't prepared for the spiders either, have we? You make a good point, everybody. Um. Um. 
Let's get rid of those. Four rounds of slow poison. And Vicky. Another two rounds. This might be overkill. I don't know, but we're going to roll with it. I probably should have also got some antidotes, but I forgot. So, never mind. We're just going to... We're just going to try our best. If it becomes too much, we will retreat and go buy some antidotes, but uh, for now we'll give it a go. However, I am going to need to rest in order for that to take effect. Multi-class Barbarian Cavalier. I don't know if you can even do that, but it should not be allowed to be a thing that you can do, if so. <laughs> Where them traps at? And here? I find that surprising, but okay. Sounds like a thing that would be allowed in 5e. <laughs> it kind of does, doesn't it? What do you All that matters is that two stood against many. Tell me what we shall see. Yep. Destiny or not. I've done had enough of this. Hey guys, in my latest game of 5e, I'm playing a ruby flame barbarian cavalier. Not yet. Let's waste no time. What you want? I see, mate. I see. Was, it, was the fighter class not good enough for you, I suppose? It is no one. Not even you will remember if you were good man or bad. Hello, gentlemen. Right, who the hell are you? You there! Identify yourselves. What purpose have you been wandering this far into Cloakwood? Are you looking to earn some money? If you are, I'd be willing to pay a considerable amount for your assistance. I'm Aldeath Sashen Sashen something. Sashen Star, a noble from the city of Baldur's Gate. Perhaps you have heard of me. No matter. I am looking for some good, strong people who could defend me against a band of savages. These ruffians have been threatening my companions and me with bodily harm. Would you be interested? Um, yes, we would. Good. I'm glad you have the sense of decency to help a man in my situation. Let me explain my predicament. My friends and I come here every year to do some sport hunting. This year, however, a group of woodland savages threatened us with bodily harm if we did not stop our hunting trip. Being civilized men, we realize that that's well within our right that it's it's well within our rights to hunt where we damn well please after a few more days of hunting the crass woodsman lost all pretense of humanity and murdered elben one of my oldest friends i'm sure that they plan to attack our cottage here so we'd best be prepared perkins bring me a gin and tonic i have no quarrel with those who respect my forest Trespassers and butchers of our wood, I, Seniad, have come to administer the punishment that you have brought down upon yourselves. Yet who are the ones that stand beside you? With them we have no quarrel. It is now to you that I speak. These men have most likely duped you into protecting their sorry hides. They have most likely not told of the druid they have slain in cold blood. I will allow you to rethink your earlier decision and leave these men to their most deserved fate. Do not listen to these slavering wild men, my dear friends. They lie as befits the uncultured barbarians that they are. Oh, that was a poor choice of words. And you consider yourself cultured, Iblith? Don't make me laugh. Sorry, Eldith, but we're signing with the droids. They have this great aloe vera bomb they're giving away samples of, and my armor has been chafing a bit, you know. What? Have you gone mad? Throwing your lot into the band of madmen? You treacherous savages, you will suffer for your foolishness. I will deal with Senyat after I kill you. My blade will cut you down to size. <laughs> the boulders! <laughs> 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 
Ah, it's the thing about noblemen. They have an awful lot more money on them than uh, druids do. More new people, yes. Welcome, new people. Dwarf cleric battle rager. How's it? Is it what? what is is a is that different from a berserker somehow? That, that's real sort of like uh, sort of a uh, <clears throat> actually. You will find I'm playing a battle rager, not a berserker. <sighs> that sort of energy. Right, Mr. Uh, whatever your name is. Oh. That's weird. We don't even get a dialogue box, but we do get a little thing down here. Greetings, I am Sunny Yad. I warn you now, these are my protected lands. If you disturb the balance, the repercussions will be severe. Consider yourself warned. Does disturbing the balance include murdering lots of spiders, my friend? Because uh, we, we will be disrupting the balance, if that's, true, if that's the case. They may call themselves druids, but they're no better than wild animals. I really think that Duke Elton should bring in part of the Flaming Fist to put down these wild men of the woods. You guys got anything to say? Alright. What's in the cottage? Come, let's leave this place. There is a thing. There is a chest. It is locked. And when? I care not. Fix that for me. This way. Oh. Uh, leave in the morning. It will be better. All righty. We got some stuff. Barlow, grant me one request. I done had enough grant me revenge. What do you want? we we'll pick up there. We got some potions. Potion of invulnerability. I could go straight in the potion bag. Potion of magic blocking. Potion of mind focusing. That's that's a healing potion. Elixir of health. We'll keep that in our inventory handy, I think. And a potion of heroism. Mm. And an awful lot of scalps. Tell me what that's what's we didn't pick up the scalps in the chest, but you know, I just thought I'd comment All on that. that the two stacks, stacks of the bloody things now. His fault was using barbarian in a derogatory fashion. Yeah, pretty much. I was gonna, I was already to side with the guy, right? Up until that line of dialogue. Alright, who's this fella? Corin. Oh, you've got a portrait. Sorry if I startle you, but I always approach strangers cautiously. I'm Corrin, hunter and archer. You, if any, any of you are interested in making some money, if you are, I'm the person who could help you do it. Yes, tell us more. Uh, good. I'm glad you're smart enough to recognize opportunity when it comes knocking. The deal is this. I've been hired out by the mayor of Beragos to hunt down a great winged dragon that's been plaguing the caravan routes. He's offered 2,000 gold for its head. Now, before you get cold feet, let me allay your fears. The only description of the beast have always mentioned its deadly barbed tail. From what I know about dragons, they don't have barbs on their tails, so there's so that's something unique to wyverns. So, all we have to do is find this wyvern's nest and kill it. Our only worries are if it has friends over for dinner. So what's your decision, yay or nay? Yay? Very well then, we shouldn't tarry any longer. That's, yeah, unfortunately. Uh, we can't afford to take you with us. Sorry, bud. Not yet. We shall see. Destiny or not. Whoa, hello. 
It's a bunch of these Tazloi again. Oh, yes. Darth is just chunking away. Okay, we have not actually encountered any of the traps I remember yet. I'm going to head back across this way. Dudley's your dad's name? Well, it had to happen eventually, I suppose. It's not a completely uncommon name. There are no traps in Glowwood number one? I didn't realise that. My memory is a little foggy, to say the least. Six. Should probably, should, well, I should probably think about wrapping up now, actually. Give it another ten minutes. Oh, hello, spiders! Spooders! Oh, please leave Dinah here alone. Goodness sake. Oh, she's already poisoned. Look at that. Amazing. Good grief. By Valkyr's strapping buttocks. Ah, uh, Branwyn, you're the greatest. Spiders. Spiders. These are the Australian droids from Clykewood. We'd like you to be very mindful of our, our uh, large giant spider population. Please do not over cull them. Shar looks upon us with favor. Does that mean we've lost a point of uh, reputation by any chance, Vicania? <laughs> Where's our reputation right now? Oh, disliked! Whoa! <laughs> okay. Uh, what did we do to lose that many points of reputation? Was it killing the noble? I'm not sure. Place. Holy crap. That really gets you that... Wow. Jesus. You know, I was worried that by siding with the druids, I was going to gain too much reputation. And that Viconia would be thinking of leaving. Boy, did I read that wrong. Guess I'll be leaving you bears alone, otherwise the druids get, might get angry. You don't want angry druids. Angry Australian druids, anyway. Oh boy, hello. Crush your enemies. See them driven before you. They hear the lamentation of the women. Get the hell with you. Oh yes, it was the merciless bear killing. That'll do it. They just wanted to hunt and shoot stinky forest people. There's no crime here. I know, I know. This is oh my goodness. This is our oh, Baldur's Gate one. What what a game, right? Murder an entire village of Zvarts. No reputation penalty at all whatsoever. You uh, <laughs> you kill the uh, the horrible horrible evil noble who's come to the forest to hunt down shamans and be beasts and stuff and has murdered a shaman. Or druid, or whatever we're going to call him. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Negative, big negative reputation for that. You're evil now, player, whether you like it or not. But, I mean, I guess, I guess your reputation, it's reputation, right? It's not, it's not a morality system, it's reputation. To, to, to play devil's advocate for a moment. It, it's not, it's not, it's not morality, it's, it's reputation, and... In the, among the denizens of the Sword Coast, they're not going to give a shit if you kill an entire village of Zvarts. 
They're not going to care. They're practically going to egg you on, I suspect. They do care if you kill some famous lord from Baldur's Gate, though. You have been by oh, boy. Get away from the squishies. Get away from them. Can you believe that? Please stop killing everyone. Oh my god, she's been poisoned. Uh, can anybody help with that quickly? Please don't die. Run away! Oh, that was close. God, that was close. Holy shit. These are etacaps. I thought these were, these were Tazloy. They're not. They're etacaps. That explains a lot. Can we rest? Oh, God! Ah, the first of many annoying web traps. We cannot rest here. Ugh. Hello, Andy. I'm not too bad, mate. I'm not too bad. I keep on keeping on, you know. How you doing, man? It has been a long time, my god. You're looking for whatever tank my rep. I'd, I'd be curious to hear what it was, because it was a huge hit, wasn't it? Much flying? Yeah, um... We're doing, uh... We're doing the... Hellhawks over the Bulge IL-2 campaign every um, Thursday at the moment. And uh, I did stream the new Just Flight Fokker um, last week as well. Hello. Are we done now? Is the, is the trap over? I think no it's, it's over. We're done. We can leave. Alright. Oh boy. We should strive to be just and fair. Sorry, Minsk. <laughs> Boar signals we should look out for traps. Just look at the way he frantically scratches his belly. He always does that when traps are around. Or when he has a really bad itch. But I'm sure that's not the case. It is, and it always will be. I have my eye on the Comanche. I just really cannot afford to buy it until my next paycheck. <laughs> It, it does look amazing. I remember flying that thing back in FSX. I even have a video on my channel somewhere of me flying in FSX, I think, somewhere in the dark depths of the archives. Um, bloody love that plane. Definitely want to get my hands on it. Um, just just got to wait for more money. I'm saving up for a, a couple of holidays at the moment, so it's uh, every every time I, I see a new the new shiny, I have to ask myself, is it worth... <laughs> Like one fewer day on holiday. Assume this is the end of the stream now. Yeah, we're just gonna rest and oh, we're having another dream sequence, ladies and gentlemen. I think my um, the cable here is making squeaky noises potentially on the microphone. I apologize if that's the case. As the earth opens to accept your passage, the cascading rock and gravel prevents your escape. And in a moment, all is black. For all you know, you have descended to the very core of the world. The walls around you illuminate and the caverns slowly take shape. Though you can see no more than a few steps ahead or behind. Stumbling forward, you find yourself face to face with yourself. Before you is a likeness in stone, exact to the smallest detail. A voice in the darkness accuses you, even as it seems amused. Such pride undeserved, great conqueror, when your whole being is borrowed. Credit where it is due, and dues where payment is demanded. A dagger of bone flies from the blackness and strikes the statue, square. It cracks slightly, but the pain you feel is as though you were rent asunder. You were made as you are, taunts the voice, and you can also be broken. 
you fall backward into the void. Do not come to rest until morning wakes you. So, uh, apparently what tanked my reputation was I accidentally killed the spy next to the chest in the bandit tent uh, with the fireball. Minus eight rep, which, um, yeah, I don't think I need to really add anything into that. We all know how ridiculous that is. Uh, good morning, Dudley. Didn't sound like you slept well last night. Me neither. More dreams, I guess. <laughs> nah, cause just couldn't sleep with all your snoring. <laughs> Tis your snoring, more like it. You never, you attract every monster for miles the moment your head hits the pillow. It's a wonder we ever, we can ever rest outside of an inn. Puff cuts has a sure cure for snoring. Used to give it to some of the guests. You want it? Mm, just bugger off. <laughs> Let me get us a cup of brandy, right? Yep. And if that didn't do the trick, a pint of beer to wash it down. Come to think of it, that's his cure for everything. Seriously, though, Dudley, you want to talk about it? No. No, I don't. I'm sorry, Emowyn. Let's just get going. We have things to do. I suppose you're right. Don't want to butt into your business. I'm just worried about you, is all. Uh, that's what's important. Right. Finally, let us save the game, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Folks, we are done for today. Ugh. Yes, right on time. We don't have to pay a big temple just yet. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Uh, right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is... Uh, yeah, I'm tired. It's very warm. we got guests coming around in about 20 minutes. Um... And I need to get this stream wrapped up. So, thanks very much for tuning in, everybody. I'll catch you again tomorrow, where we'll continue with this as we put head deeper into Cloakwood, into the actually annoying bit of Cloakwood this time. Um, oops. Didn't mean to do that. I didn't realise this the bigger thing here was a button. That's interesting. Uh, anyway, yeah. I'm just going to check to see who we can ride. Who with you in a moment, ladies and gentlemen. Um... Who is streaming at the moment? Uh, what's what, what's Joe streaming right now? Uh, oh, she's streaming some more Thirteen. Perfect. Right, we're gonna we're gonna raid Joe because I love Thirteen. That's a great game. I played it on Xbox back in the day. It had surprisingly good split screen multiplayer as well. Actually, in addition to a great single player. So we're going to go head over there, everybody. And, uh, yeah, have a have a good one, folks. I'll be back tomorrow, as I said, with more Baldur's Gate. And I'll be back on Sunday with uh, more uh, Morrowind, as per usual. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with the four streams instead of five streams a week thing for another week on the trot, I think. I think that's worked out reasonably well so far. So I'll see you again after that, after the Sunday. I'll be back on next Thursday with more uh, IL2. Maybe more IL-2. I don't know. Um, I haven't decided yet. I'm, th I'm thinking about doing a bit of Microsoft Flight Sim instead of IL-2 next Thursday. I need to review the uh, the viewer numbers and stuff a little bit again, perhaps. So, But whatever. Folks, have a good one. Until then, toodle pip. And if you've been watching on YouTube, eh, thanks for tuning in as well. Right. Time for me to leave. Bye!